Hi guys, Coffee here and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Cine Steel 50D and we're going to push it two whole stops. Now I absolutely love Cine Steel 50D, it is my favourite film stock but at the same time it's an absolute pain in the ass, and that's because as its name suggests it's a 50 ISO film. I live here in the UK and well the weather's always pretty dead and dull and 50 ISO is not that easy for us to use. And also to top it off this video is going to be photos from my trip up to Scotland where we went to Edinburgh and as everybody knows Scotland it just rains and cloudy all the time so I thought I'd try something out and I thought you know what let's just shoot Cine still anyway but let's meter it for 200 ISO and then push it two stops in development. The canister even tempts you into doing this I don't know if you ever noticed but on Cine still canisters it actually has on them like one two and three stops as if it's just there for the taking. I've gone for two stops as I find 200 ISO something that I can easily use and I didn't want to push it too far because pushing too far might just lead to even worse results when I could have settled for 200 ISO. If you don't know how to push film from a camera perspective it's really easy if your camera has a meter that you can set the ISO of the film inside. Now on my Leica M6 this just meant that on the back of the camera I actually set the ISO to 200 even though the film inside was only 50. And if you have a little think about what's going on here, it's just that every single time your camera takes a picture, it underexposes the film. But shooting at 200 ISO means I get to use better shutter speeds and better apertures to actually just take the images that I want to take. And then back when developing the film, which I do myself, you then have to develop the film for a lot longer and you're trying to do that to counter the fact that you've underexposed the film. Now the downside with this is no matter what, if you didn't capture something on the film because it wasn't bright enough, it's not going to be there. All it's really doing is making the brighter part of your image brighter. Now lots of people do this with black and white film but not too many people do it with colour. Now the main reason for that is when you're shooting black and white, increased contrast isn't really something you worry about. A lot of people love having really contrasty film. However, when you do this with C41 film, there's kind of two effects. One is the extra contrast, which may or may not be a good thing. The other is a big boost in saturation, which combined with the contrast can lead to some quite funky results. That's why I decided I was only going to push two stops, not three. I can deal with two stops at 200 ISO. I don't really need 400. I can make 200 work, so I didn't want to push it too far. So we went with two stops and in terms of developing that meant that I developed this film for pretty much twice as long as normal. And normally it takes about three and a half minutes of developer, I ended up developing this for something like seven, seven and a half minutes so it was twice as much and maybe a little bit more. You can actually see from the film that the actual strip of film looks different to normal. So here's a roll of the cine still that I shot next to a strip of just some Fuji film. And you can see just looking at these two that one, the cine still looks brighter and it also has quite vivid colours even on the film stock. So straight away just letting this film dry, I knew something was definitely different about this film due to the fact that I developed it for too long. So when I first loaded this roll of film into the camera, we were in Edinburgh's Royal Botanic gardens. Now up until this point we'd had a very busy trip, we'd been doing so much so it's quite nice just to actually have a bit of a chill out and walk around the gardens here. It was really nice there and here are some of the first images. Just looking at these images you might start to spot one of the big problems I had with this film and that's the fact that there is a very heavy green cast. Now even if you're spotting that in these images I have tried to edit these to get rid of that green cast. Here's a before and after of one of the images you've just seen. This is what it looked like straight out of the scan and here's what it looked like after I tweaked the colour balance around a little bit and this is common across all of the images. Every image on this roll of film had a very very strong green cast. Now it's pretty easy to get rid of, all I was doing was changing the tint on the colour balance slider way way into the purple and sometimes I'd find the image went slightly too purple so I went into the hue and saturation and just dropped the purple down a little bit to try and get a nicely balanced image. Thank you. 
After the gardens, we then just took a bit of a walk around Edinburgh, and most of the time we're actually in the city. Now, something feels very wrong about shooting an experimental roll of film when you're out on a holiday, and I was at times thinking to myself, why am I doing this now when I somewhat care about these images, as we're unlikely to visit Edinburgh anytime again soon. But as it was, I don't think these images are particularly that bad, they just have a very unique look to them. Later in the day we started to get better light and I think in some of the images that didn't contain much green anyway so there was no like trees and grass in them I think the images come out looking quite good. They have a very unique look to them, they are contrasty and a little bit almost muddy in how they look, but there is a look that I feel like I could use in some cases. It's however when anything green was in the image as well, like the botanical gardens at the start of this video, just the green cast on top of a green image has come out looking very, very saturated. So did my dreams of being able to shoot Cine still at 50D at a reasonable ISO work out? I don't think they did. Now there's nothing really wrong with a lot of these images. They're usable images and they've still captured the memories of the time. I'm not looking at these images and thinking, you know what, they're, they're useless and a complete waste of time. But I do think I'm going to struggle to find somewhere where that sort of muddy, green casty look is actually something I desire. So I don't think I'm ever going to do this again. And I'm just going to have to continue only shooting my favourite film stock when it's bright and sunny here in the UK. So I'll probably shoot maximum two rolls a year, which is really frustrating as I honestly love the film stock. And if Cine still you happen to be watching this video, please make us a daylight film at a reasonable speed and I will buy so much of it. If you've enjoyed this video though guys, please, please like and subscribe. And if you've shot Cine Still 50D or you've got some thoughts on the images in this video, please let me know down in the comments. I'll be really interested to hear them. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.